Uber and Lyft have changed the way we get around, but tonight RTV6 asks, are young people getting around the rules and putting themselves in the path of danger? Good evening to you here at 6 o'clock. I'm Mark Mullins. And I'm Amanda Starantino. You can get an Uber or Lyft in just a matter of minutes, and some teens are taking advantage of that, but it is clearly against policy. RTV6's Paris Lubell is uncovering a major problem with Uber and Lyft that has teens cutting corners. Ubers and Lyfts are all over, but before you get into the back of one, you're supposed to be 18 years old. But one Carmel mom says that's not always happening. And I keep hearing it's normal, 16, she's 16. I know that, but um, it's scary. It came as a surprise to Amy. Her daughter was sneaking out night after night. I found out my, that, that my daughter had left the home in the middle of the night, and it kind of transpired into looking through her phone, and I found email alerts and passwords and codes that were sent to multiple emails that I didn't know about. Email after email of new accounts and ride receipts from both Uber and Lyft. When you have a teenager that's in the middle of a neighborhood in the dark with no bag going somewhere on a school night at 12 a.m., the drivers know that the kids are going somewhere that they shouldn't be. But the big problem, her daughter is only 16. Uber and Lyft both have clear policies that don't allow people under the age of 18 to ride alone. A lot of teenagers sneak out. I did it myself. Um, so I'm not naive as a parent, but I feel like I had no idea that within eight months period of time, all of these Lyft and Uber accounts with credit cards I don't know, whose emails I don't know. Her daughter was using her high school's friend's credit cards for the rides and was able to make Uber and Lyft accounts with no problems. Both company policies say to contact customer service, but when Amy tried, she ran into even more problems. I tried to research reaching out to Uber, but you have to actually log into an account. I couldn't find a direct email or a number just to contact them. And for Lyft? I looked online and there was an actual email contact for Lyft. So I left them an email and then two days later I got a response that didn't make any sense. The email Amy received back says only the account holder can gain information about the account. We reached out to both companies. Uber said they direct drivers to ask for ID if the rider looks under 18 years old. And Lyft never got back to us. It's just scary. Uber and Lyft say it's up to the driver to determine if that person is underage. If they believe they are, they're supposed to contact customer support so they can investigate. Reporting tonight, Paris LuBell, RTV6. So you may be wondering, what can parents do if they run into a similar issue? We asked both companies that question. They didn't have an answer for us. A new service called Bubble Rides has also been making the headlines. The new service is for underage children to get rides to places like sports practices. Drivers are either active or retired police officers officers and first responders. The service is in the Dallas-Fort Worth area right now and the company is looking to expand to other areas.